You're at 512 Peckham here. Pretty much done. Get a new driveway eventually, but the house is pretty much done. A new cupola, it's all PVC. Weather copper vein with pineapple. There's a light in it. And a light that shines on it. All on dimmers and timers. New chimney tops. One in front was only 40 bucks from Menards, but the willow from Superior Clay is, well, about 1,200 bucks, 130 pounds. Well, it's just clay. Um, block and tackle, uh, antique off of eBay. New garage door, Wayne Dalton, all wood, 400 pounds. A lot of paint on that thing. And it made to look like two single doors, the hardware and the center strip. A lot of field stone I did, probably 10, 12 tons all over the, the yard total. Loft door, that's PVC too. And that block and tackle is heavier than it looks. And Sally and I in spring did a lot of painted a lot of birdhouses we bought, about 23 of them. They're all along the fence back here. In the backyard. A lot of trimming to do. And, you know, all new Pella windows, new roof, new furnace, new central air. I did this brick several years ago. A lot of story behind that. Here's my martini fountain. And there's Maya, there she is. We'll go around the front. And two years ago I did all the brick on here over the existing cement. The ugly gray stuff. About 1,300 bricks. You know, dental work was done. All wood blocks. A lot of paint, both sides. You know, I, you know, detail and my brother Chuck carved that pineapple probably 20 years ago. I'm finally utilizing it. in the house. Go upstairs first. Finally new carpet on the steps. We had enough wood left over it. We also did the hallway up here. It's all, all real wood. Sally and I did all the staining and varnishing and all the coats and all the sanding in between and new whirlpool tub, whole new tile. Everything just, everything was redone. New baseboards, new woodwork. Um, up here we got a new cabinet that Rick built. Countertop, sinks, faucets, whole nine yards. I just made a new trim. We did the windows, um, and we matched. 35 years ago, our first house, we had I had the knife for the profile of the trim, which we made it wider. But 
And we did that on the baseboard also. That same profile. Yeah, master bedroom. It's nice having new windows. Some of those we couldn't even open. They're gonna fall out. That's how bad it got. And there, ooh, look at that. You your baby boy. And look at that. What is that? 16 by 20? It's almost like a mural. Okay. Um, there's a guest room now. Oh, that furniture bedroom set from the 1930s. Sally's parents. Bought downtown Kruger's. Hardware store many, many years ago. Kind of Art Deco looking. That's kind of neat. It's just not another bedroom here. Oh, and our daughter had done the old window. She had done a this glue applique type thing that you paint on the windows, and I saved saved it out and had it cut and framed. That was of our our dog, Chancy Bear. One oh, of Sally's Linda doll from the late fifties that I got for on eBay recently. It's mint. Hers came in the mail and it was the head was half melted. Go figure that one. Some of my photographs and stuff. Um, you know, all wood through here. Family room, nothing much recently, but we've done a lot of stuff to it since. We've been here. It's my latest creation there. My boys Diana ones. Brand new. It's all good. It's all better. I am. And here's the powder room. It's green. Oh, a lot of new stuff here. New painting. Access to the whirlpool upstairs. Here's Sally's kitchen, or, or well, I do the cooking, but that's a Hoosier we've had for 20 years. Never saw one before or yet. I had the green glass and like that. And the table here from 1930, Sally's parents bought it at a funeral home. That's when they used to sell furniture there, too. Maybe it's the leftover wood from the coffins, I don't know. But Either way, got a lot of varnish or polyurethane on that. I, I always used to say varnish, that's not correct, but because I'm sure there was lead paint on that thing. And here's the kitchen. The green is a, called Kittery Point Green. It's um, named after a small town in Maine. And yeah, it's a nice, very nice car. I don't know if the camera is going to show it well or not. To get it here, this is probably gives a good approximation of the, the color in real life. Copper apron sink. There's a pineapple. And Chuck did some, my brother did carving some of the corner blocks. He did that to match the stenciling that Sally did 25 years ago. I always like this coffee grinder here. Got it years ago. And see right here, they told me, you see those wear marks right there? That's where the, the wife, that was from her left hand, her wedding ring. All those years ago that she would hold it and when she'd grind it, then it wore the paint off there. Very interesting. It's a really neat little thing. You know, the formal dining room here. You know, wood throughout here, of course. It's about 1,100 square feet all together. You know, there's a pineapple there. That's newer. newer. And some of my artwork, it's, eh, it's all this stuff's on my website. It's just www.artfullydigital.com. Now, what's this over here? Hmm, martinis. Who drinks? Oh, what's this now? Who's this? Hmm, from our 30th anniversary. 
Hmm, looks familiar. And here's my room where I do my thing or don't do my thing. Is that one of them? I got an animation of that on my website. Here's my old cameras and stuff. Here's my Mac Pro. Sometimes I wish I had a dozen of them when I was rendering. And Chuck also carved woodblock pineapples here. Here's my daughter years ago. My dad. My eBay table. These these two models, they had the cellophane on from the early 60s and I removed it. A lot of museum quality stuff on here. There's people that want this, but I, it took me years to collect it on eBay. Well, I guess that's about it. Um, over and out. Um, one word of anybody watching this, do not cut plywood on a table saw. You may end up in the ER, but I'm still alive. Over and out.